What's going on, my LS crazed amigos? It's your boy Terry speaking from the garage shop once again. Here to offer you some more product info and uh, a restoration tips. Yeah, that's right. You know, a couple of videos ago, I did this segment where I called it uh, Answer the Most Common Asked Questions. And, you know, I've been getting a lot of common asked questions, getting a lot of emails, and I want to thank you. Keep them coming because I really love them. I really enjoy seeing you know, like all the love out there as far as information. People want to know about these cars and stuff that I do, which is really great, all right? And so we're gonna answer one which was about welding, about welding. So I get a lot of emails. What welder do you use? What, how hot does the welder have to be? What size gauge wire do you have to use? So we're gonna answer all the questions that I've been getting in this one segment, it's gonna be kind of cool. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to where I keep my welder, and we'll get started. This is my Lincoln Electric SP100T welder. I had it since 2005, and this is the only welder that I have in my garage shop. I do all my welding with this, this is great, and you can pick it up from Home Depot, and it's NASCAR proof. Why? Because it says so right there, you see? I don't have, I don't, I don't have a clue what that means. But even still, this is the only welder that I've ever, ever used on all my projects. It, it, it welds just about every piece of metal or every type of metal that I've ever needed it to weld. All right, so we're gonna go over some of the features of this welder, okay? First thing we're gonna go over is these two knobs right here. Because this is a, this is a 110, so it's a regular household you know, plug into the wall and that's it. You don't need a 220. A 220 is like what the dryer uses in your house. You don't need that. All right, so I use a 110 and I plug it in. Now, let's look at the arc bolt, all right? You got a gauge on the welder, it's called the arc bolt. This is it right here. It goes from A to D on this one. All right, this tells how hot you want the metal to get, how hot you want, how hot you want to burn it, basically. So A being not so hot or it's, there's no such thing as not so hot when you come to a welder, but this is the least hot, and D is like, I mean, when, you, when you're burning, I guess maybe like quarter inch metal, you might want to crank it up to D, all right? You're dealing with sheet metal, A or B, all right? And you got the wire speed, which is one all the way to 10, and that's how fast the wire comes out of the gun, all right? And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna open this thing up, because what you could do is, you got a little door here, and you open it up, and it's very simple, it's very simple, all right? And you got this little thing, which I'm gonna get back to later, you know, when to use this, and that's where you put your wire and you feed it through your little gun, your little nozzle, which is right here. And that's, that's all there is to this. Now, if you're a beginner, you have a chart, and it will tell you It'll, it'll go you like the thickness of the gauge of the steel. You could just, you know, this is a reference. Like if, you, if you're if you using shielded gas, this one I got set up for gas. This one, I don't have to use gas, but I like a gas because it gives a cleaner weld, all right? You don't have to use gas. You can use just regular, a different type of wire, but then you would have to change polarity. You'd have to change this negative to the positive and vice versa. But I use gas. I mean, it, it, it gives a really clean weld, and it's, you know, to me, that's the way to go. All right, and like I said, this little chart will give you an idea of, okay, if I'm using a 20 gauge and I'm using like, let's say an 025 uh, wire, which is what I use for sheet metal, 025, and um, what's it called? If I'm using gas, like a CO2 and uh, what's called argon mix, if I'm doing like a 20 gauge, I would start off at two, like A, I put it on A, and then I would have it, the speed at two and a half, where you gotta vary because each welder is different. So this is just a guideline, but you gotta figure out which one works for you because what, what my settings is for this, the same exact Lincoln welder, the settings would be probably different, you know, because each welder, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta practice with it. And you gotta so get we're it. just talking about gas. So now if you're gonna have a gas welder, you're gonna put gas to your welder, you should understand how to read the regulator. So I'll show you right now. You remember this piece that I said I was gonna get back to? Okay, this, if you have it in the up position, this will engage the wire. The wire, you turn the welder on, and the wire will come, this, the wire, uh, will come out of the wand. But to set the gas that you want, 
on the tank, you're gonna put this down because you don't want the wire to come out. And I'm gonna explain to you right now. So we're gonna turn the welder on. Hear that? All right, there's your bottle. So we're gonna crank it open. You see the gauge is going up. All right, this gauge right here is the tank, the tank pressure gauge. How much pressure is in the tank? Now it's read by thousands. You can see, I don't know if you can see it, 4,000, 3,000, 2,000, 1,000. All right, I usually get this thing full, refill, when it gets to about anywhere between 900 and 1,100, uh, what's called PSI in this bottle, because uh, it's not enough pressure and it, it could affect your well. All right, and this, that's how much pressure coming out of your nozzle, how much gas you're gonna be using coming out of your wine. So, uh, check this out. I got this thing down, so what I'm gonna do is, if you do this, I'm gonna hit the wand. This is, let me see if I got it. This is my finger on the wand. Now watch this. You see that? There's a lot of gas coming out. So what you wanna do is you wanna turn this inward or outward, and it's gonna lower the gas. See, watch. See, you can even hear it, all right? And then what you wanna do, I like to have this thing anywhere between I would say 900 and 1100. And so I'm gonna keep on opening it up. See, it's down to about 1600. A little bit more turns, a few more turns. And see, there it is. It's around, let's do it again real quick. Yeah, it's around 1200. Perfect, all right? And that's, that's that way you don't use a lot of gas because a lot of people have it coming up here you know, around 20, and that's using gas that you really don't need to be using. All right, now, once that's set, now, pull this in the up position, and you're ready to weld. Now, you're done welding for the day, all right? There's a way I like to shut my welder down, which won't damage the regulator. So you open this thing up, this, this gator, and you see that little switch again? Flip it down, so it doesn't feed the wire through the wine. I turn the gas off, Actually, I closed the regulator first. Close the regulator. When you close the regulator, you're gonna see the this gauge right here. It's gonna go way up, all right? And then you close the tank. This is how I do it, all right? I turn this on, and this is gonna, and I'm gonna hit this wand, and it's gonna take all the gas out of the lines, and it's gonna put these, it's gonna take the pressure off the bottle, and the gauges are all gonna go down to zero because you can't leave it like this with the pressure in the, in the tank and through the lines. So, you hear that? Keep on holding it until it says zero. So now all the gas is out of line. The tank doesn't have any pressure on it. Turn the welder off and then I open the regulator. Just a couple twists. And that's it. Hope this helps, you know. But like I said, this is just the way I do it. Now, you, you should definitely check with your, the manufacturer of your welder. Make sure you do it to the, the way they say to do it. And remember, this chart right here, this is just a guideline. This is just a guideline to, you know, where you might want to start. And if, if, it, if the weld doesn't look right, turn up the heat, turn down the heat. Wire speed, crank it up, lower it. You know, you gotta play with it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta fool around with it because you wanna make sure, <laughs> you know, you weld on a sheet piece, a piece of sheet metal like this than on your car. Because when you go see your car, you want it to be pretty perfect, all right? So, as always, looking at the clock on the wall, should I say ceiling? I'm gonna head on out. All right, I'm going to continue to do some more work on this car so I give you some more videos. That's right. All right, so as always, please be easy, and I will catch you guys real soon. All right, take care.